Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to the stage. Keep it going, keep it going for Mona. Hi. How are you guys? All right. I'm doing good. I'm going good. Uh, so, guys, my name is Mona Shake. Uh, uh, I recently did a show and they wrote my name as Moans Shakes. Uh, that made me sound like a porn star with epilepsy. Um, which was pretty cool, actually. I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. I know you guys are looking at me. You're like, what kind of Mexican is she? Um, I'm not. I come from a land of virgins. It's true. It's also known as Pakistan. Yeah. And uh, for the longest time, I've wondered why our men are so obsessed with virgins. And it boils down to the fact that they just don't like criticism. <laughs> like criticism you guys you know I also come from a land of suicide bombers I actually asked my mom I was like mom if a guy blows himself up he gets 72 virgins if I blow myself up what do I get and my mom said you only get your husband <laughs> I said that's some bullshit what I said what do you mean and I'm like a guy blows himself up he gets 72 virgins I blow myself up I get my husband I died to get away from that asshole <laughs> okay now I'm stuck with him for all of eternity this is bullshit so the last time uh, my mom stayed with me uh, for six months, uh, this time was for like a year and a half, uh, which meant that I became a virgin all over again. That's, that's what I meant. Yes, yes, exactly. I had a, a moment. It was very painful. Uh, the last time I'm, my mom stayed with me, um, it was during the month of Ramadan. Uh, the Ramadan is a month of fasting uh, in Islam. And uh, I don't really know what it is about that month, but I feel a little naughty around that month. You know? So I said to my mom, I said, hey, mom, why don't you get our little Taliban gear you got on? Because we don't want the FBI on our ass, you know, and I'll take you out. And she was like, okay. But she had no idea that I had plans for her, so I took her to a sex toy shop. <laughs> yeah. So we to show up in front of the sex toy shop, and she got the worry beads in hand, and she's looking at it. She's like, this looks like a very bad place. And I'm like, no, Mom, it's not bad at all. Come on in, right? And it's actually owned by these two. <laughs> it's actually owned by these two Indian guys. They're like, Madam, come in. We give you a very good price. You come. <laughs> We give you the brown discount, you come, right? <laughs> so, my mom's standing there, she got the worry beads in hand, you know, she's got her eyes shut, I'm leading her, in, leading her in, she looks like a Muslim Stevie Wonder. I said, Mom, come on, you gotta open your eyes, you gotta see what's going on, right? So she opens her eyes and sees these huge posters of like women's asses of like all shapes and sizes, right? <laughs> she's like, oh my God, so many bottoms in one place. And I'm like, yeah, Mom, check out the vibrator on the top shelf, right? She's like, oh my God, so many penises in one place. Wait, is that a black one? <laughs> is that for real? I'm like, oh baby, that's for real. How do you know? I hear things, you know, because anything to do with sex is like such a taboo, you know? My mom's always thumping the Quran in my head. She's like, if you, don't, if you have the sex before marriage, you will burn in hell. I'm like, you know what, mom, I'm in hell right now. Thank you. It's pretty painful for me right now. Uh, I'm a single girl, you guys. A uh, single girl. I've tried a bunch of dating websites. I've tried a bunch of dating websites. Uh, exactly. It's very painful. It sucks. You know, I've tried like Match and OkCupid, okay and I was like, screw it. I'm going to try an ethnic dating website, right? Ethn ethnic dating website. Uh, I'm not making this up. This is a legit website. It's called singlemuslim.com. Yeah. Uh, I stood out like a sore thumb because all you see are eyes. <laughs> Angry eyes, cute eyes, sexy eyes. I even saw this one lady with dark glasses on top of this shit. <laughs> like, if I didn't know it was a dating website, I thought it was a ninja recruiting website. You know what I'm saying? Just going to recruit ninjas. Have you guys ever tried masturbating while your mom's in the next room praying? Good for you. High five on that. You know what I'm talking about. It's, uh... Yes, it's, uh, it's pretty painful. It's pretty painful. Um, my mom has a lot of awful dating advice, uh, a lot of d awful dating advice. I was going to date with this guy. I was like, Mom, I'm going to date with this guy. Like, what do you think I should say to him? She's like, you tell him right away you want to get married and have children. <laughs> I said, Mom, that's probably the worst freaking dating advice. Like, what are you, high? One day I was sitting in my room. She came in. She was like, your eggs are rotting. <laughs> I was like, what? Can you smell them? She's like, you are getting older. I'm not going to take care of your retarded babies. I'm like, wow, that's very touching. Thank you. Thank you, mother. So sweet. 
So sweet. Yeah, my mom just, you know, sometimes your parents are just never, never really happy with anything. They're just, you know, you're just, everything is a freaking competition. Everything is just like, they did this, you're going to top that. You know, everything is just like competition. And you just grew up with this mind frame that, you know, like anything you do is never good enough. So I actually um, got a, uh, I got a triple A membership. I called my mom. I was like, mom, I've got a, I got a triple A membership. And my mom was like, why not triple A plus? <laughs> I was like, it's just a freaking membership. Like, relax. It's not a competition. It's every every everything is everything is competition. The thing about like Pakistani parents, like, there's no there's no sensitivity chip. You know, there's no like there's no processing of just like, hey, maybe that'll hurt my child's feelings. Like, there's there's no such thing. Uh, my mom would call me up and um, tell me things like, you know, your cousin, twenty years old, married with a child. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Telling jokes on stage, how wonderful, how wonderful. What a regret you are, oh my God. So disappointing, what did I do wrong? You know, and it's just like, like nothing, is, uh, nothing is ever good enough with Pakistani parents and uh, that, that's just kind of how it is. Um, but I've, uh, I, I went on this uh, website, uh, it's, a, it's a Pakistani website that gives you uh, insight about, uh, you know, to young, like, guys and girls about, uh, they give you sex advice, you know. Uh, Pakistan is a very, it's a, it's a very, you know, sexually repressed country, so you don't really talk about sex in the, in the open. Uh, and there was this one kid, uh, and you could clearly tell, like, he was just totally fucking around, you know, with the, with the doctor who was, like, giving advice, you know. So they have, like, a bunch of, they have, like, the girl section and the guy section, and they're, like, the married guy and the unmarried guy. And I was, like, dude, I want the unmarried guy section, because you know that's where all the action is, you know? So I go to the unmarried section, and this dude, uh, this is what he writes. Uh, this, is, this is totally legit, you guys, this is what he writes. He's like, hello, sir. My name is Ahmed. My friends tell me that my seven-inch penis is too big for my age. <laughs> Sometimes, if I laugh too hard, it all comes out. Will <laughs> masturbation ruin my life? Thank you. There's like the comments in the bottom <laughs> are just to die for, you know? And it's like, dude, when did masturbation ever destroy anybody's lives, right? If anything, all you're gonna end up with a few calluses and a few hardened socks, <laughs> right? Do it like now normal people do. Just ejaculate in a sock, like that's it. That's how that works. All right, guys, my name is Mona Shake. thank you. <laughs>